Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build an Awesome Spaceship. <laughs> I'm doing the interior at the moment. We've been doing this for a couple of episodes now as the exterior of the ship is pretty much done. There's a few little touch-ups that we can do, uh, but I want to work more on this end today. This is the second floor. The ground floor here is with our kitchen and canteen or cafeteria or whatever you want to call it. Up here is more of the, uh, what would you call them, like utility rooms where the business really goes down. So we've got, oh, I've got hiccups. We've got an eco room, we've got the med bay, and we've got sort of a, an armory, if you like, uh, there. And then the weapons, the main weapon controls for the ship are going to be in that end area. Did I want to work on this area a little bit? Actually get a, a load of sort of flesh in the uh, interior here, you know, really build it up. So for the floor of the hallways in this area, I think we want to keep with this black block that we've been using. Um, this one right here, which is orange wool. Is that the one? Yeah, that's the one. It's got a really nice sort of interior floor look. Um, looks sort of metal grated. I really like that look. But I think we want it on uh, one block lower. I think this is where we want the floor. Because in the kitchen, this will allow for that much headroom. Which I think is plenty enough headroom. We could maybe even put a slab on there. The, the kitchen isn't really that important to have a lot of headroom on. So I think that's good. I think we'll be fine with that. And then as far as the width of the hallway goes, we want a minimum, I think... I think we can fit four blocks all the way down this hallway... Here will be a little bit thinner because of that. Oh no, that lever will move, won't it? Yeah, I think four blocks is probably a good start. If we have room, we could make it maybe a little bit wider. But with that redstone on the left-hand side there, we're going to have to have a wall up to obviously hide all that redstone and stuff. So I think that that is the widest that we're going to be able to do it. Okay, so now we want this to go four blocks wide here. But as you can see, we sort of end up with this sort of one, oops, with this one little section that goes a little bit too thin. So I think we're going to add one block here because the wall's got to wrap around it. I think that's good. I think that's a really nice amount. And we'll be doing that again momentarily when we get to the navig when we get to the sort of navigation room. So this comes down here to this one. And then we go four blocks again. But we want to make sure we get it a little bit wider after that. So that is where it's going to be. That's the sort of hallway for this area. Uh, this. Oh yeah. Those are fine. That is where the escape pods are going to be. I think I like the escape pods actually being uh, visible. Is that the right word? I don't think visible is the right word. But being accessible. Aha. Better word being accessible via this main hallway. I don't want to enclose them off in a little room because, let's face it, if you're in a rush and you really, really, really need to get out of the ship because it's blowing up, you don't want to go through a load of airlock doors. You want to go to a main hallway of which you can just get in one and poof, away you go. <laughs> That's the sound that they make. I'm sure that they just go poof before they <laughs> go out. That would be so funny, wouldn't it? Okay, so uh, <laughs> let's work on the environmental room. As it's a nice small room for us to sort of get uh, an interior theme uh, either started or extended upon. Because we've got... Th this is sort of our only interior room we've got so far. I don't really class the main hangar here as, oops, as an interior. Uh, room because it's still sort of part of an exterior. I really like having this open. Peter been saying, AJ, you need to close it off. Think about the oxygen. What you need to remember is that we're in, we're far in the future here. We'll probably have some sort of invisible shield around this uh, that obviously won't stop bullets and stuff. We'll have an actual protective shield for that. Uh, but like as far as O2 goes. There'll be a shield where O2 is pumped into this area of the ship so you can get out. A lot of, um, in fact, if you play any Star Wars game or any space game, there'll always be a hangar on the ship. That usually does stay open and there's still oxygen there. So I'm not really too bothered about that. But this is our interior block at the moment. I think I like this sort of light block feel. There's a few blocks that uh, really go well with it, like these, these sort of unique... Um, 
logo blocks and then these ones at the top and bottom work really really well we've got the slab ones for some detail as well so i think that's the sort of look that we're going to go for but in the medical bay we do have some other blocks some more red blocks that to me at least signify more of a, a, a medical look so we want those three blocks we want these ones at the bottom okay something like this around here that one i might change the floor up in this room as well we might have a different colored floor i don't know yet i really really don't know yet so we'll have these going up here it's a nice small room it's just where we, we're growing a few plants a few tomato plants and stuff maybe plants that we found on other planets to see if we can actually get them to grow in other areas you know and see if, if we can find out exactly what they do are they edible are they safe to eat what happens if we um feed them in the, under the wrong conditions what happens if you eat them before they're ripe you know all those sort of crazy sciencey stuff so we can have some plants where i've got the green wool and then on the back wall we can have some sort of more desk like computer maybe even put a computer in there that would be quite cool computer ish equipment we don't need to worry about going too high in here like breaking into the floor above because we don't have a third story and this part of the ship this is sort of the highest as it goes so we can we can go as pretty much as high as we want here that one and that one that one and that one we are getting a little bit dark in here let's put for a moment a torch down there we go look let there be light okay for the ceiling for the ceiling in this room what do we do in here we we used a darkish block didn't we we like using ugh. oh yeah we used that one in here i like that i uh, that's um black what is it not stained glass ah black stained clay that's it and then these blocks as a sort of coving i think that's the sort of theme that we're going to go for and try and stick at least roughly with that sort of look so we want the slab version of that and then black stained clay so we're going to run this around here very nice uniform feel to it that way okay and then place these on top i can put some lighting in the top here in fact we could have a really nice one by two light up here uh beacons are sort of okay sponge and wet sponge we've got redstone lamps which are these ones but i'm not sure if they look that great as far as lighting lighting goes like if i put them in the bottom here they don't look that great in my in my opinion that it's like if they were sort of symmetrical in a way that they would they would work really well i like that block block of emerald we'll be using that somewhere um if, as long as i remember if i forget let me know <laughs> throughout the course of this series uh what is this <gasps> cake is like a med thing oh dude that's so awesome what on earth is that pumpkin pie oh that's like um like uh tinned food isn't it preserved food okay 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 and that's an arrow i got you i got you like a little laser weapon um what is like a beacon like then oh that actually isn't that ugly i think what we want to do is actually go on top of this though and place at least some sort of block to to cover up because you can just barely see through it so we could have something like those on top there and then when you look up at the beacons you can't see through it to the ceiling of the ship but that that looks pretty cool i think that's enough lighting in here maybe a little bit of lighting under there would be trouble is is that we've got the floor below here and that's where the real trouble comes in with doing lighting in the floor maybe we can do something on the sides or something like that i don't know i don't know yet okay let's put the nice little unique block in maybe right here as it's in the middle i think that sort of centers it quite nicely we're gonna want some grass around whoops around this area for us to grow some some plants on maybe just those two i don't want to go right out to the door here and here i think that looks a little bit more more weird um for the plants that are growing on it we can do quite a few things we can do some long grass oh that looks really cool i like that let's do oh look at all of these oh i might take that long grass away actually we've got so much better ones 
Uh, we oops, we can have this one. I think that one looks pretty cool. This one looks oh, that's a sunflower. That's gonna be a tall one. Oh, I, oh, I like that. Um, that's also a tall one. I don't want to go with big, big ones. Oh, mushrooms, definitely. Peony. Oh, that's pretty nice. Let's have not the tall one next to each other. Let's have the tall one in the corner there. Mushroom. That, oh, that's cool. What's this one? Pink tulips. What are the little snowdrop ones? Oh, a dand. Oh, red one. Poppy. Yeah. Poppy there. And then the smaller one. Oh, maybe even a little dandelion at the front. I like that. That's really cool. Now, we can use some item frames here. Where are the item frames? Item frames. Item frames here. To cover this up a little bit. Make it not look quite as dirt like. You can use signs and stuff. But the trouble with signs is you can't put two in like an inverted corner like that. If you use those. It sort of looks a little bit better. And you can place maybe a block or an item in it. To. I don't know. Make it stand out a little bit more. What, like what about some vines in there. No. I don't like vines. I want like a. What if we use the old trick of like using a. Um. A piece of snow in it to look like cabinets, like drawers that we can open up. I like that idea. So you can imagine that there's actually like the seeds inside here. We'll have these ones sort of slide out like a cab, like a, uh, a filing cabinet. And then these corner ones can open up. I like that. I think that looks pretty good. Very, very neat. Very, very neat. Um, water. Like is that, do we want to have like a little cauldron with some water in it maybe that's a smart idea cauldron and a bucket of water maybe we should have this on either side here and actually remove those oops move those like that i think that's pretty good yeah, yeah 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 that looks pretty neat and then i think if we turn these ones up get them all to match yeah 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 i like that i think that's good on this side we want some more computer orientated stuff so we're going to just get a block and we're going to get our painting because we're going to want a little computer screen oh, look at that the first one little computer screen in there for the desk maybe there's a stair that we can use or something oh yeah these ones and these ones yeah perfect that one that one that one like that We'll then get lightweighted pressure plate, maybe, for a keyboard. What did I use? I used a carpet for keyboard in here, didn't I? Yeah, that carpet. I think I will on this, on the other ones as well. I think I like that better. Was it that one? I think so. I can't, I can't quite tell. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, red carpet. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Put those there. And then the uh, the countertop one. The block we used as the countertop was this one. There we go. It looks better when it's facing the other way, but I sort of like that. It's a very polished metal feel. That's if we need it. In fact, this desk actually looks quite nice without that, doesn't it? Mm, okay, I like that. So we've got a computer. Obviously... They're going to need a chair. Oh, do they need a chair? No, they can do standing up reports. Should they have a chair? If we have a chair, we need to move this monitor along at one. Come on. I knew. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, I think moving it along one is probably a smart thing to do. Then we can put a chair in here. Uh, we need a slightly different block to the... Oh, that one. Slightly different block to the table. Perfect. I like that. And then what the signs look like. Can I use signs as a arm? Um, I can. That looks sick. That actually looked like computer screens as well. So we can have um, like a sign up here saying like in Viron the Enviro Enviroplan Enviro. It, we'll just call it the Environment Center. Is it the environment? I think that's how you spell it. I might be wrong. Environment. <laughs> we'll find out pretty sure shortly as soon as the comment section wakes up if they uh, notice it as a spelling mistake. Environment center. And I think they look like little LED screens. 
Yeah, that's sick. That's really, really cool. I like that. Nothing else, I don't think. Is there anything that we, else we would want on the desk? Like a flower pot as a little cup or something? I mean, yeah, why not? Um, what about some blocks higher up? Some blocks above? Oh, they're like graphs, aren't they? They're like a little graph screen or something. Like growth. Growth of each plant and stuff. That looks pretty sick when you come through the door. I like that. And then bookshelf was another block that uh, had some sort of uh, information, informational stuff on. Maybe on this level. Too many? Too many. I think I'm going to take the end ones away and maybe have something up there. Mycelium. What like? There's so many cool looking blocks here. Um, crafting table. Has that got like a draw look to it? It does when it's facing that way. That's a really nice bedside table, but not facing that way. Okay, that's something that we can remember, though. Uh, chests and stuff I don't think are necessary in here. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, I think that's good. I think we've got the environment room done. And I like the floor. I think the floor is good. As far as the doors go, we need some doors on here. We've go, we'll go through all of them apart from the iron doors because I don't like the iron doors. Looks good. I like that one. A little bit too dark for environment. A little bit too light for environment. Med bay and escape hatch. Or maybe, yeah, definitely escape Escapey hatch or, or sort of definitely more secure, isn't it? It looks like very, very strong, very Star Wars-y. I've got a sneeze coming. Chew! 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 <laughs> okay, that's the door that we used on, on here. I do like that, but I don't think it's good for this area. I think I like the oak, and I think I want it on that side. So when you're inside, it's flush. And we want them on both sides. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty nice. Okay, that's good. I like that feel. I like that sort of route. Uh, let's work around the front here. What have we got? We need uh, black or orange wool. <laughs> so weird to say. I need some orange wool and then pull out a black block and still be correct. Like, what? Okay, so this needs to be four blocks, or at least three. Okay, we've got four. Perfect. Four blocks like this. And we can actually fill up all the, this area because the wall can still go along here. Um, I do have the redstone lamps in. I just haven't got them wired up yet to revolve, you know, and do our color thing that we wanted. So, in fact, if we want to do that, we're probably going to have to cut off a couple of blocks. I think that's... A pretty cool looking shape as well. If you imagine we have uh, this block. Yeah, I think I'll probably use this block. We're using this block on the interior rooms. But I might use it on the interior like walls that go around the side as well. That would be there. And then we'll just do a few down here. Is this enough room for me to wire up some repeat? Yeah, re yeah. repeater, repeater redstone yeah we should be okay there like that's that should be enough room to to do all of the redstone that we need and then i might not keep these ones the it might be a little bit weird having the same block on either side i don't know i think i will like it i think i will like it actually we'll have to find out later on like that like this and then oops what was it? That one. That one and that one. I think that's right. I think that's good. Uh, 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 uh. Like that. Is that symmetrical? I think that's symmetrical. Maybe you guys can <laughs> screenshot it and send it to me via Twitter if it's incorrect. 
this can run down here. We know that that lever can go. That lever was only there for, to temporarily um, activate this weapon. But now we've got the weapon location. Oop, oops. The weapon location being at the front of the ship. We don't need to have that lever there anymore. It'll all be wired up into that room so we can control all of the weapons from the front of the ship itself. I think that's a really cool idea. Anyway, that is all that we've got time for this episode. There's a little bit of sort of working out before we could really get moving. So next episode, I'm hoping to maybe get the armory and the med bay done in the same episode. It's a lot of work, but I think we should be able to pull it off. If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then please subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode.